Good day. We're looking at trigonometry where we use the sine rule, cos rule, and area rule, as well as the application of these three rules. The question I'm given is a grazing camp is in a quadrilateral shape. A, B, C, D are four vertices of the quadrilateral with C equal 120 degrees, A, B equal to B, C. 50 meters, AD is 80 meters, and DC is 30 meters. Asks us, what is the size of the grazing area? They give us no guidance. One question, eight marks, they want us to deliver. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to draw a quadrilateral. So my quadrilateral will be a shape with four sides. Now it does not matter how I draw the shape. I know there's two sides that are equal. One's name is A, one's name is B, one's name is C, and another one is D. So let's start with the ones where there's a common 50. So A, B, B, C. So B is common in both of them. So A, B, and C. Then it says angle C must be 120 degrees. So greater than 90 would be 120 degrees. Right? And then the last side AD is 80. Now I need to populate my information into my sketch as I'm given. So I'm saying I've got 80 units here, I've got a 50 units here, I've got another 50 units here, I have 30 units over there. See these 30 units, right? So, when I look at this information, I know that that is equal to that, and if I had to draw a line here, I would have an isosceles triangle. But we don't want the line there because we have only one angle and that angle is angle C. Now, they want to know the size of the grazing area. They give us nothing else. Size. I must understand in this context is the area. How big is the area? What is the size of this grazing area? So, because it's an awkward quadrilateral, it's not a regular quadrilateral, I would like to construct a line to make two triangles because I can calculate use my information in trigonometry to calculate the area. So if that is 120 degrees and I have two sides on either side, so then I can calculate the area of this part. I could potentially also calculate the length of this line BD and once I have that side I could calculate the size of this angle which means I can calculate the area of this triangle but it's a whole process to master to get to this picture that I have in front of me so what I'm saying is Construct BD first, calculate the length of BD, then calculate the size of angle A, then calculate the area of ABD, calculate the area of BCD, add the two together to get the area. 
what the size is of the grazing area. So let's start with the length of BD. The length of BD I would calculate through using the cos rule. BD is equal to 50 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 times 50 times 30 cos of 120 degrees. Remember, because it was BD squared, to get BD, I must find the square root of that cos input. Answer comes to 70 meters. The moment I have the answer, I place the answer in it. So now, I'm going to use the cos rule again to calculate the size of angle A. So, we calculate A is equal to shift cos of 50 squared plus 80 squared minus 70 squared over 2 into 50 into 80. Size of angle A is 60. I need to understand that opposite 70 compared to opposite 80. Which one will have the bigger angle? Longer side, bigger angle. So this angle cannot be the obtuse angle. So this one will definitely be 60 degrees. So now I say half of 50 times 80 sine of 60. And I say half of 50 times 30 sine of 120. I calculate individually, add them together, get the answer and notice that I did no rounding up until I got to my final answer. So my total area is 2381,57 square meters. The question merely read what is the size of the grazing area. So that's the only thing that they wanted to know. What is the area of the grazing area? So the total grazing area is given as 2,381.57. Thank you for watching the video. I trust that you loved it and that you will share your experience with everyone.